everyone. In this video, I will introduce you to the second of four tools that I recommend to all NLAB 334 students, the Statistical Abstract of the United States. The Statistical Abstract of the United States gathers data tables from many federal government departments and agencies. We already looked at the Census Bureau, but it's not the only data collecting group in the federal government. Almost every agency or department collects some kind of data. This tool allows you to search broadly to see which of those has data on your topic area. It's most helpful for locating national level data, though some state level may also be included. To get to the statistical abstract, go to United States Sources and then the General Sources subsection. There are two links for the statistical abstract. The first link directs you to the Census Bureau's web page for the Statistical Abstract. From the late 1800s until 2012, the Census Bureau published the Statistical Abstract directly. You can access all of their publications for free directly from this website. This second link directs you to a database containing the Statistical Abstract from 2013 to present. This commercial database is available to you as long as you are a Southeastern student. If you are accessing it from off campus, you will need to log in with your W number and PIN, which is your six digit birth date. Since I'm on campus, I don't have that screen, but this is an example of what it looks like. In the place it says W number, you would put your W number. In the place it says date of birth or PIN, you would put your six digit date of birth. One way you can use the statistical abstract is to browse by topic. For example, Section 1 collects data on population, while Section 23 collects data on transportation. Going to these different sections may help in locating relevant data for your portion of the assessment. In this database, you can also search the statistical abstract by keywords, which in this case would be particular topics. You can search it by table number if you have located one previously, but usually we come here first with topics. As an example, I'm going to demonstrate a keyword search for infant mortality. I enter infant mortality into the search bar and then select the search button. On the results page, I currently have 12 results. Each result is a table which has a number and a title. For example, the first result is Table 1356, Births, Deaths, and Life Expectancy by Country or Territory 2020 and 2025. Each result also lists the original source and the publication date. The Census Bureau published Table 1356 in 2021. You can also use the filters on the left hand side of the screen to narrow your results. Of these, the breakdown by is probably the one most useful to your project. You can specify if you want the data by age, race, sex, and so forth. I'm going to select state as my filter because I want to see both national and state level data. That narrows my results to just one table, table 118 infant deaths and mortality rates by race, Hispanic origin, and state 2018. To view the full data, select the table's title. That opens a PDF of the table that you can either download or email to yourself. I have three quick tips here to help you with evaluating the statistics you find, no matter where you search. First, Look carefully at the date. While you want the most recent data, that may not be the current year. This data represents infant deaths and mortality rates in 2018, as listed in the title. However, we can see that the data table was last updated in December of 2020, and it was published in the 2021 edition of the Statistical Abstract. That shows us that this 2018 data is the most recently available for this particular topic. Second, a credible source will always list the original creator of the data. For example, this table indicates that 
In general, it comes from the National Center for Health Statistics. If you look underneath the table, it further tells us that it comes from the National Vital Statistics Reports and Death's Final Data Annual Report and the CDC Wonder Online Database. With all that detail, I can look at any of those single sources or the organization, the National Center for Health Statistics, to find out more about their mission, methodology, and standards. Third, a credible source will provide documentation on how to interpret the data. Data can be given as whole numbers, ratios, percentages, and more. Without further documentation, we won't know which is the case for that source or how to interpret or use its data. This data clearly labels its information as both a number and a rate. Under the title, it explains how rates are calculated. For infant under one year old, deaths per 1,000 live births in specified group. It then goes on to say how they determine the race and Hispanic origin for both decedents and live births. Additional notes are provided at the bottom of the table to help me further interpret the data. With this level of information, I can more accurately interpret and use the data provided in the table. I hope this video helps you navigate the statistical abstract and evaluate data you gather throughout your project. As always, if I can be of any help, please don't hesitate to contact me.